Hi folks, this is Bart Palczak from creativeimpatience.com. Today we're going to do something different. Because I wanted to show you how Power Window filter works, I first need to explain to you the three concepts of basic color science, namely lift, gamma and gain. To this effect, I created a little sequence here with just the color matte, which was white, and I dropped a ramp here so that I get a nice transition from black to white. This is the black level in Premiere Pro, and this is the white level in Premiere Pro. So let's see what the power window and the free controls actually do. First, let's set up the window so it covers the whole thing. Let's reduce feather to zero. Let's change the height to 2000. And now, there are four controls here, which are repeated in the other sections. So once you get a grip, then uh, it will be very easy to, for you to understand how this filter actually works. The sliders here are really, really sensitive. So what I will be doing is I will be either control sliding, although it's still quite a lot of change, or I will just open the controls and I use these sliders where I get a little better control over what's happening here. Oh, let's, I forgot, let's change it to rect rectangular. Now it's okay. Lift. Lift tells the computer what point is the black level. So if I move it upwards, I move the whole thing upwards. I add to every value, so every single pixel I'm adding uh, this amount. If I remove, then from every single pixel I'm removing this value. Gain controls the slope of this curve and it's a multiplication by how much I multiply the value of each pixel. See, if I crank the gain up, the slope is much higher and I can see that I can reach a white point much quicker. If I change it let's say 0.79, then here I had 1, now I have 0.79, and I'm not even reaching the white point here. Gamma is a bit trickier one, because it's a power function. The easiest way to explain the power function to you here will be just to show you. Each pixel has a value from 0 to 1, 1 being white, 0 being black, and this value is then raised to this power to get the, the final value. So if I drop the gamma, I'm getting this kind of concave shape and I'm getting a darker image. If I raise the gamma, then I'm getting this type of shape and my image is getting lighter. So, how does it work? Well, let's say I want to crush the blacks. I want to also increase the contrast in the whites and I want to darken the remaining part of the, of the image. Okay. This is the result without width. Okay. So I narrowed the dynamic range. This is to black. Now this is white. This is a bit different from what it was before. So basically this is how controls in the power window work. But this is black and white. Let me now show you what happens if I want to add a little bit of color to this. You can separate the colors here in RGB section. And let's switch to RGB Parade. You can see that every color has its now its own curve. The way it works is the same. Red control works on the red curve and doesn't work on the green and blue curves. So if I want to raise the offset of red to add some red to the image, here it is. If I want to reduce the gain a little bit to bring white to white, so I'm getting this. And if I want to reduce gamma or to increase gamma to, to get a little, even more red in the darker parts, here, this is it. If you want to explore the topic further, I strongly suggest you get some good uh, positions on the color correction, color theory, and uh, this way you will get a uh, grasp how to use these controls more effectively. But uh, I think even with uh, this short introduction, you will now understand how the power window filter works and how to use the controls here. 
This has been more theoretical tutorial than uh, the previous ones that uh, you've seen from Creative Impatience. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you gained a little knowledge from this tutorial. And to see you for the next one with the application of the Power Window. Goodbye.